Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Tony. <coughs> You're all tricks and magics, you silly. Let me tell you about some really cool magic tricks that you can easily try at home to impress your friends. So, take a jar with a tightly closed lid. Now, take some watercolor paint and paint the inside of the lid with it. You can use any paint, as long as it dissolves quickly in water. Now, pour plain water into the jar and close the lid. All props are ready. It is time to surprise your friends. Show them the jar of water and say that now you will dye this water with magic. Loudly say the magic words and shake the jar. The paint will dissolve and color the water. Voila! Magic is real! We saw this next trick on another channel, but we won't mention its name. We need gelatin, flour, a little water, and some plasticine. So, we pour a little water into the gelatin and stir it. Then we add a little bit of flour, stirring all the time, until it reaches the consistency of porridge. Now we make a cast of a finger with plasticine, pour our mix into the mold, and put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. Once the fake finger hardens, you need to remove the plasticine and paint the finger with your mom's makeup so it looks realistic. Now you can do all sorts of tricks with it, like this one, or even this one. The only limit is your imagination. <clears throat> Let's move on, Tony. Ask one of your many guests to think of a number from one to five. Now ask them which one they have in mind. Great, now ask them to go to the closet and pick up the card that is already lying there. Wow, it has the right number written on it. The secret of the trick is simpler than a hole in your sock, dear spectator. You just need to write the numbers from one to five on different cards beforehand and hide them in different places. The most important thing is to remember which card is where and direct the spectator to the one that has the right number written on it. No time to stop, Tony. Our magical evening is just the beginning. Let's turn an orange into an apple. So we show everyone an ordinary orange and cover it with a handkerchief. Say the spell, pull the handkerchief off, and lo and behold, the orange is turned into an apple. The secret to this trick is very simple. It is necessary to carefully remove the skin of an orange beforehand so that it remains as intact as possible. Then we take a slightly smaller apple and place it inside the peel. When we show our orange to the audience, we should hold it tightly in our hands so that no cuts are visible. The next step is a matter of skill. With a deft movement of the hand, we tear off the handkerchief along with the peel and the orange turns into an apple. Now here's a scientific trick. We will need a glass of cold water, some ice, fine salt, an ordinary thread, and a very mysterious expression. We lower a piece of ice into the glass with water and ask our spectators to get it out with the help of a thread. When your friend gets tired of trying unsuccessfully, it's time for the great magician and wizard himself to intervene. Put the thread on the ice cube and sprinkle salt on top. You need to wait just a little bit, and then bravely lift the thread and with it the ice. Physics is way cooler than any magic, right? And finally, the most amazing trick, or maybe not. It's up to you to decide which trick was cooler. Let's begin. Here's an empty glass, and here's a glass of water. We pour the water from one glass into the other. Say the spell, turn it upside down, and the water turns into ice. How is it possible? What did you do, you freaking wizard? Okay, okay, I'll stop being so dramatic and tell you the secret. We have to cut out a sponge, or other highly absorbent material, in advance, making a circle the size of the bottom of our glass. Now we glue it to the very bottom and pour some ice on top. When we pour the water from the second glass into it, it should all be absorbed into the sponge. And when we turn it over, only the ice comes out. Friends, tell us in the comments what other unusual tricks you know. The best ones will be featured in the next episode. And of course, don't forget to give us a like because we love likes. See you next week. Bye!